What's going on, guys? Thank you so much for your love and support. Let's get into your weekend vibes. We're going to do something a little different since we are towards the end of the year. I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful holiday. Happy New Year's, baby. It's a lot that's changing around the way in your life. And I feel as if we should do something a little different. Now, when I was meditating on the message, I was picking up an individual has experienced a lot in 2022. Baby, life could knock somebody ass down off their tricycle, okay? I feel as if situations came about to open up your eyes to what needs to change in your life. Now, somebody is like a person, the visual I got was of a little boy who's laying in his bed and he's like really dreaming and hoping of one day having this bike. He thinks of all the things he's going to do on this bike. He's going to pop willies. You know, he's just going to have a good time. Now, the bike is metaphorically speaking for something in the individual's life. It could be a lifestyle that they desire. It could be um, a family unit that this person desired. It could be a dream job that this person desires. So, finally, one day, this little boy, he gets the bike. But the bike could have been too much for this individual to handle the situation. Um, I feel like somebody also outgrew the dream that they had. Or by the time that they got to this bike that they always wanted, they outgrew the bike. Now it's time for them to get a car. But I feel like along the journey, there were a lot of bumps and bruises and this person got knocked off of the bike. They could have had a lot of problems in their career, a lot of problems in a relationship, okay? The dream family dynamic that an individual wanted to have, maybe they didn't have that. There were a lot of complications, arguments, backstabbing within the family that an individual knows or created, whatever this dream bike is, okay? But I feel like an individual now realizes that even though the journey has a lot of twists and turns, even though um, they have a lot of bruises, somebody got some broken bones, could have even sprained something in 2023, in 2022, 2023. Okay, somebody could be going into 2023 with like a cast on. But I feel as if along this journey, there were a lot of lessons that helped you to um, transform your idea of the dream that you have. You may no longer want that bike. You may have um, taken a ride on the bicycle and realized that you outgrew that dream. You worked at something. Somebody got knocked off of the bicycle, baby, and they scared to get back on it. They scared to put themselves back out there. Job, relationship, friendships. But somebody is desiring more. They want a vehicle. Somebody could have had like a motorcycle accident. Somebody could live in Georgia. Somebody could also be traveling. But we're going to look at something a little different. So we're going to look at what you guys are leaving behind. What you are leaving in 2022. And then for tonight over at the website, we will look at what's coming towards you for the new year. I do feel as if some of you guys will be letting go of a masculine energy. This could have been somebody who was low vibrational. Somebody could have been dabbling in the arts. Okay, This could even be occult knowledge. Somebody may be leaving that individual in the past. Okay, What else are you leaving behind? Could even be leaving behind an individual who was emotionally scarred. You could be leaving behind somebody who is immature in their behavior, the way that they respond to situations. And I also feel as if for some of you guys, somebody in Georgia, you may be leaving this person behind. You could be leaving somebody an Aries or a um, Scorpio behind. Somebody could have been very foolish in their behavior. Somebody jumps the gun. Somebody who um, they assume before they actually find out factual information. I do feel as if some of you guys, the ball may have been in your court. It's like now it's your turn. 
For some of you guys, when it comes to your thoughts surrounding relationships, especially if this is a sexual connection, if you were having like a fling or um, a sneaky link, you may be in the, that relationship, like you're leaving that in 2022. Somebody also, the lies that they've been telling, somebody has also been hiding things, omitting the truth. Either you're leaving that person behind or the two of you are going to sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation and it's like this person is leaving that behavior behind okay so let's see what are you leaving behind well some of y'all calling a soulmate okay a marriage long-term commitment okay this could even be like an organization some type of project you were committed to you may not feel safe, okay? And this could be emotionally, mentally. This could even be um, feeling safe to express yourself in a creative fashion. It's like if you don't feel safe or you don't feel welcome somewhere, it's like you're leaving that in 2022. You have a desire to grow. The dream may not have worked out the way that you wanted it to, okay? But like you have new dreams, new aspirations, new desires. So what are you leaving in 2022? What are you leaving behind? Somebody is afraid that you're going to leave them behind. Maybe they know they didn't treat you the way that you should have been treated. Especially if it was a third party relationship or there were constant interferences within your connection. A soulmate. You're leaving someone behind that you feel like you and this person may have a bond. Somebody could have felt like there was an understanding between the two of you, like you understood how they felt. But I feel as if this individual, they failed to display verbally, or for some of you guys, um, emotionally, how they felt about you. Now this person realizes once you cut them off or leave them in 2022, that you are a soulmate. You as this individual may have a tattoo on your own. Um, Four on. Okay. The manipulation. Manipulative individuals. Even though you connected with these people on some level. Okay. Their ability to manipulate you. That's not going into 2023. Okay. Somebody trying to pull strings or use an individual like oh you know i know such and such somebody has a habit of name dropping too like oh i know such and such trying to manipulate people they'll look out for us i heard no they wrong Somebody who thought that they could manipulate the relationship, you're leaving them behind and this person is triggered. Mm -hmm. I told you somebody is afraid that you're going to leave them. And now they recognize that you are a soulmate. You give this person this euphoric feeling. Somebody has a heightened intuition during this time. And you may be picking up on this individual's energy like they're frustrated. Somebody is also getting high. Mm -hmm. Didn't I say you outgrew that dream? Somebody is triggered by your growth. You outgrew the manipulation. And you may recognize that that was a relationship that you were meant to grow from. It triggered, it inspired some type of growth within you. You see somebody for who they truly are. They may have resonated with a part of you that may not have been healed at one point in time. Mm -hmm. For some of you guys in this connection, Somebody may also, um, like, if an individual was always up under the influence, somebody may be detoxing. 
you may start to see things differently see how manipulative an individual may have been somebody could also have been keeping somebody up under the influence to try to manipulate them Somebody's addiction also ended up growing and it's associated to a, a relationship that they had with someone, a connection that they had. And it might have also grown if you were dealing with a third party relationship. So whether this is overeating, it's any type of overindulgence, drinking, smoking, doing something that gives someone this euphoric type feeling. Somebody was definitely doing something in excess. Okay. Now, a relationship where you may have thought that a friendship was growing between you and this person, you may be leaving that behind because this person is triggered by your growth. Again, you have outgrown these individuals. You could have felt like you had some type of contract, okay, with this person. Dreams come true. Deja vu. Surrender. A part of you may want to kind of like surrender. Break some of your own rules that you've made for yourself. But I feel like in order for you to see the dreams come true that you have already signed in a previous life. Like this contract that you have, you're being reminded of it. For some of you guys, you're having premonitions. Something also happened or... Um, you had a premonition back in August, around August 22nd. You may even want to look back in your camera. There's some type of dream that's going to come true when it comes to a relationship. Somebody could be born August 8th. Dreams do come true. Uh huh. Somebody is born December. Somebody is born March 8th. Somebody is 35. Somebody is born February 15th or the 16th. Mm -hmm. Somebody is in their late 30s or early 40s also. You may be leaving um, certain individuals behind these individuals. A contract that you may have had with these individuals. There was something that, um, and it could even be the Lion's Gate portal that triggered something. There's a contract that you have entered into. And for some of you guys, that portal, it could have opened up or for some of you guys initiated some type of contract between you and someone. And this could even be you being friends with the individual who may have that birthday. I see you recognizing that, that yes, this is a soulmate, but yes, this is also someone who is manipulative. And in some form or fashion, it may have also exposed you to ways in which you have manipulated other people. And not to say that anybody has manipulated someone to the degree or the extent that this person could have manipulated you, but it shows you in areas of your life where you have been manipulative in your relationships. It triggered something within you. It opened up your eyes and it helped you to grow from the situation. Even if you manipulated yourself into believing that this person, um, that they would grow with you, that they would change. Mm -hmm. It's like you're starting to see the truth. Okay. Let's see what's going on. What are they leaving behind in 2022? Somebody's name is Haley. Okay. A spiritual altar. Somebody could even be leaving behind someone who's trying to manifest them. Somebody could even be letting go of trying to manifest, manifest love relationships. Somebody's name is Faye. A Fayette could be significant.
Okay, somebody's trying to manipulate somebody's stream. Somebody saw something about a spiritual altar. This could be on a how to manipulate something on like um, some type of social media platform. Hmm. A vacation. A soulmate. Somebody saw something on like a social media platform. This could be surrounding spiritual altars, things of um, such. And someone could have tried to manipulate a situation. This could be a woman. This could also be somebody trying to manipulate some type of contract that an individual may have with, a, with someone. Dreams do come true. Um, something that was prophesied, again, prophetic messenger, some type of warning, an accurate prediction of what will come. Okay, this could have been predicted back in August about some woman. It's coming true. Somebody is 35. Or you could be 35 in 2023. Okay, a heightened intuition. You are leaving somebody behind, a woman, and this was already prophesied. If you got a personal message, you probably should go back to a personal message that you had back in August. Because you may be leaving that person behind. Some of you guys are leaving certain spiritual practices behind. Some of you guys may realize that you have a strong friendship or a connection with someone who may be a prophetic messenger. Someone may have a um, heightened intuition. Okay, somebody trying to get you to surrender. You being frustrated creatively, sexually. You're leaving that behind. Some of you guys may be leaving a spiritual altar behind. Like, maybe you're no longer practicing certain things. You feeling triggered by individuals allowing people to manipulate you. You seeing that a relationship is going to go somewhere when it's not. Somebody also knows that you're going to leave them. Mm -hmm. It was already prophesied. It. And this person could be trying to manipulate the connection. What, what are you leaving behind? For some of you guys, a marriage. Somebody doing wedding candles. Okay, somebody trying to get somebody to marry them. Somebody trying to manipulate a marriage. Someone is married, already tied the knot. You may have seen something come down your timeline. Okay, there's some manipulation. And somebody is leaving a relationship in the past. Somebody was catfish. The person that they are married to is not the person who they thought they were with. This is giving a whole vibe of who to believe did I marry. For some of you guys, um, somebody was catfished also when it comes to like a spirit. In the beginning, in 2022, this female spirit could be Oshun, could be Dancer, 
could be your Maya. Hawthor, Hawthor. Hmm. Somebody's name could be Penelope also. Okay, so in the beginning, someone, this uh, deity, goddess, or spirit could like the color pink, blue, or yellow. Um, this spirit, very loving, very giving to an individual. You could have felt really good. Okay, they could have helped bring a, a wedding, a marriage, a relationship together. Could have even helped the individual hold their marriage or a relationship together. Somebody found this, um, they found a video to do this on YouTube. So there's some type of video that this individual found they were triggered. They used this to try to hold their relationship together, keep their partner happy. Okay. But somebody upset the spirit and could have disrespected the friendship that they had with the spirit. This was already prophesied. It. Because there's a contract there. Somebody was catfished. Somebody didn't know the other side to the spirit. They only saw one side of the spirit, deity, or goddess. Somebody's ability to put a spell on you, try to get you to um, have a relationship, marry them, um, work with them, that's, that's being left in 2022. Somebody is triggered behind that because it's no longer working. That spirit don't work for them. They work for that spirit. And now somebody is seeing that they were catfished by this woman the entire time. And somebody just wants to be friends with the person. Friends with benefits. Now somebody just wants to be friends with the person and this could even be just sleep with them. Somebody got out of a long-term relationship with somebody, whether it was a marriage, um, it was some form of commitment between two individuals. And now this person is like, they don't want to be back together, but they'll still sleep with them. Masculine energy feels catfish or played by a female. Somebody that was a friend with benefits and it was prophesied it. One-sided relationships, you being catfish. You could have found out that somebody that um, you had a friends with benefits situation ship with was indeed married and you may be leaving that in 2023 2023 2022 somebody said they ain't leaving till 2023 honey okay somebody watching you a snake in disguise okay somebody who would never give an individual they heart somebody married a snake in disguise and now somebody's heart is, um, or was hardened. They leaving that in the past. Somebody also wanting to relocate for work. Things are really changing for y'all. Somebody was working with a snake in disguise. And this person really thought that they had your heart on lock. Somebody thought that they would be able to cause a wedge. In your relationships, this could even be business partnerships. That's coming to an end. You being confused. All of this is being left in 2022. You feeling overloaded, feeling burdened, okay? Dealing with people who flexing, flossing, but tight on money. You leaving that all behind. Now somebody is frustrated and they're chasing you. Huh. A 
ex-lover. For some of you guys, you could have been sexually connected to this person. Okay. But yeah, you leaving them in 2022. This person could have been used to you chasing them, trying to make the relationship work. You tired, you got tired of this person trying to show off. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys will start to make um, money or you'll see an increase in your revenue online. Okay. Doing something online. What are you leaving? Something that you felt like was wish fulfillment. I feel like, honestly, this is you catering to somebody, fam. You making sure everybody else is happy. Somebody used, somebody was used to getting what they wanted out of people with the use of a spiritual altar. Somebody was manipulating people, and that's coming to an end. Their ability to manipulate someone. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. I see you cutting somebody out. You may be frustrated with this person. You're tired of having to overthink things. You're tired of being in your head. Stressed out. Feeling overloaded. A king of wands. Okay, you tired of somebody's actions. Somebody could be trying to make it hard for you when it comes to work. When it comes to trying to make things work. Okay, a queen of swords is cutting off the king of wands. This person feels like that's what's best. That's what's going to make me happy. A king of wands wants to work things out. Okay, somebody could live... Um, where there are amphibians. Okay, so here you are being wise. You're going within, especially when it comes to the people that you work with. Okay, you may be leaving a Virgo behind. Okay, you could have felt like this person, the Six of Pentacles. Okay, like they was given to two. Something that you could have been doing, chair like um, working for some type of charity or charitable good. A good deed you felt like you were doing. It's like maybe you feel like you're no longer doing that no more. You may also have a heightened intuition that somebody keeps giving to an individual, especially if this is somebody that's older. Somebody is a snake. Look, you could even see two, you could have been dealing with two damn snakes. I was about to say, I've seen two snakes out here. Okay, somebody thought that they had control of a snake. Snake in disguise. Somebody was married to a snake in a long-term relationship. Okay. Queen of Swords need to get the fuck out the way so you can see the snake, honey. And if you are a Queen of Swords, you need to just stay the hell out the way so people can see they snake. Somebody is about to learn something. Okay. Some type of offer. Somebody getting what they want when it comes to work. That's coming to an end. Mm -hmm. Like if somebody was just coming into work late, doing whatever it is that they wanted to do. Getting back to people whenever they want to get back to people. Like they're being left in the past. You guys are starting to realize, like, shit, I got so much that I could give. Why waste it on um, somebody who's inconsistent or a snake? Somebody is getting a divorce. Somebody also need to let go of the idea of them getting everything that they want. A fire sign is taking some type of break. They need some time off. Okay, here's a Taurus. Somebody has a spiritual calling. Somebody could be called to like being like a religious leader, teacher, spiritual guru. Mm -hmm. You um, not feeling, you not having work to do, you just 
sleeping all day. That's coming to an end. Somebody was given to a snake and whatever somebody was given to a snake, they're about to give to this queen of swords. Somebody is doing this in somebody's face. Somebody feel like they was given to the wrong person. Now they want to give to somebody else. Okay, a Virgo chasing you. That's left in the past. Somebody doing their research when it comes to spirituality. Somebody needs to do their research into what they're giving into. And this could even be like, let's say, for instance, um, certain organizations. You may start to like look into it and you may decide otherwise. This could be some type of charitable organization ran by a Virgo or a Taurus. Or this is a religious or spiritual organization. Fire signs may be taking a break from spirituality. Okay, King of Cups. Whoever this King of Cups is in the reverse, you're leaving this person behind. This is somebody who could be emotionally abusive. Somebody who, again, don't tell you how they feel. Somebody who has a drinking problem. Okay, the truth. Somebody doesn't want to face the truth. But I feel like you're leaving all of this in the past. The King of Pentacles. You feeling as if you got to take care of everybody else's needs. You leaving that in the past. Okay, somebody could have been talking to three different men. A fire sign, an earth sign, a water sign. You may be leaving these people in 2022. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Have a wonderful, safe holiday. I will see you guys on Monday. Bye, boo.